In this video, I'm going to show you how you can scan barcodes into an automatic schedule so you can, can calculate the time worked for all of your individuals. Now, this is a schedule that is an automatic schedule, but I have um, put two lines for each employee here, and I put their ID number. I'm sorry, I'm not original. I have one, one, two, three, three, and basically their basic numbers. Now, I have, starting on Wednesday this week, I have all the, the days in for a two-week period. And what you see calculated here is the daily total for um, the last day they have put in here. So, let me show you how it works. So, I have a separate sheet because you don't want them scanning into here because you're not interested in them seeing the rest of the world. And so, I haven't put in 222 and 222 um is working today it's not off and so let's go to here and i'm going to put 222 two, two over top of the 111 so i go click in that cell and i go 2222 two, 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 and i press enter and now i go back to my sheet here and there you have the start time entered for this individual and so let me just show you what happens so this um, so this person here 333 three, three, is not working today now I have two lines and I have an O in both of them so that the cells are filled so let me try to put 333 three, three in for today and so let me go here and let me go click in here and then I'm going to go one two three four and I'm going to press enter and it's telling you in and out times have been entered for today, meaning that you can't you can't scan in for time today because uh, you're marked as off. Okay, so now let's go back and let's go. I've got both start times and start and stop times for one one one, and so they can't they can't scan in twice if they've already scanned in and out. Then that's it for them for the day. So let me show you that. So let me go back to sheet two. Let me put in. Um, one 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 two four and I'm gonna, and it's gonna be the same thing and it says in and out times have been entered for today and I'm gonna say okay so now let me go back and now we've been um, this two 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 has been here for a couple minutes so let's put in going an out time so we've scanned in the first time so let's scan in the second time so we'll click in here and we'll go. And if we go back here, we can see that they've, they've been in there a whole minute. And so now if we scroll over to the far side, to the left side, you can see that they've actually been in here for 1 minute and 42 seconds. It's calculated the difference of the in time and the out time. So let me show you the code. And so um, I've called the secret access barcode a string range uh, as a range and day as a range, row number and column as long, total as a double, time in as a date, time out as a date. Now I say, I tell it that um, the barcode is equal to sheet two um, cells uh, two one. So that would be uh, row two uh, column A. Now, and then I activate the, activate the sheet here so that we're going to be putting it on there. Now, if the barcode is not, is not blank, then set what you're going to do is try to find today. So what it's doing is it's looking through the dates. I have the dates on this. Um, I have them formatted as, um, as just the two days, but I actually have the 11, 11, 220 in here. So I have the entire date, and it's looking through all of these to find out which date is today. And so, um, okay, so I say set date range equals C4 to P4. And what we're doing is we're looking for the date. So the date is like today in, a, in an ordinary Excel sheet, it's looking for the exact day of today. And what it's doing is it's looking for all that day. And whatever day it is, is the only day that you can scan in. You can't come in and scan in for yesterday, and that's too late. And so then... When it finds what day it is, then 
um, the column number equals day column. So that's where we are. And then it searches for the barcode. It searches for uh, finding the person with that barcode number in. And when it finds it, the row number equals uh, the range that it found and its row number. So now with these two variables uh, de determined, what we're going to do is go sheet one, row number, which is the row of the person, and column, which is today, select. And then if the cell is not equal to zero, so if there's already a time in there, then what we're going to do is we're going to act we're going to offset the active cell by one row. So we're going to go down one row. So we're going to, um, we have gone from the in time to the out time. Now, if active cell, if the next one is not empty, then the message box says um, in and out times have been entered for today and go to ND, which is at the bottom of my sheet. Else, active value equals time, active cell number format equals same. This is how we want the time to appear and go to calculate time. And that's further down. Okay, now if um, if this one is empty, then what it's gonna do is put the active time value in. So this is gonna be the end time and then it's gonna go to end E. So here's where I said calculate time. And so if they have an in, um, an in time and an out time, then what we're gonna do um, we've, we've set through here, and this is how you format them so that they appear correctly. And then we're going to go total time equals time value, time out, minus time value, time in. And this is how I, I format it so that it shows up correctly on my cells. And then I, I say whatever the row number is, row or column 17 is where the, um, the date and the time is going to appear, the difference in time. And so that I say cells row, row number equals value total, and that's what we calculated up here. And then we go um, debug print and a number of hours equals, and then it's basically just showed up as number of hours. Now then at the, this is the ND where we went to from here, so it doesn't go to the calculate time. The ND goes here, and then it goes to here, and then I go to sheet two activate, and cells two one select, and that's where we scan in. So I will include the, this code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.